what happens when my manager thinks the expectations of me are reasonable, but I don't think they are. Okay, let's go. Let's double back to the communication. Yeah, this is like the, the communication is not just what are you expecting? Are they reasonable? Um, has anyone dealt with this, a manager who had unreasonable expectations? Uh, Jody, it sounds like you've, you've actually had that. Whether, is that correct? Yes, I have. Um, how did that result? Did you have a, did you actually have a conversation about that? Or um... We had multiple conversations about that. Um, my, the problem was I had just started using a relatively new tool and he expected me to upskill on it much sooner than I believed was possible because it, it's it was the Adobe suite. So Adobe is pretty complex. And he was thinking, he was assuming that I would, you know, be up to speed on all things Adobe in a few months. And I kept having to make the counter argument that, you know, it takes a while. I'm, I'm happy to learn about this and grow into this role that you want, but it's not going to be in three months. And he just couldn't let it go. And in the end, I was laid off. Wow. Yeah. It, although I have this labeled solutions, it's not necessarily that it will always happen that it, it actually solves the problem, but it does, does mean you communicated. I hope you found a better position after that. Is that I'm still looking. <laughs> you're still looking. So this is what you know, I'll let you the last. Um, yeah. Um, the communication doesn't necessarily always solve it, unfortunately. Um, and it sounds like they did not uh, do a good job specifying what they were looking for. And when you were, were, were you employed as a new hire or were you, were you given a, a move within the company or? No, we, this was a, a following a reorganization, part of our team moved to a new team. And then that team, um, a, a, a person who was my peer in that team was promoted to manager. And he was the one that had these high expectations of me and this tool. Out, out of curiosity, did others also struggle with the same uh, elevated expectations? Um, I asked a few, well, first of all, I was the only one using this tool in our group. So there was nobody having that exact same, like in the exact same situation. But I did ask a couple other peers, you know, how they were relating to this new manager. And the two people I asked didn't seem to have a problem with him. He just oh. was not happy with me, I guess, for whatever reason. Hey, going, going back to my earlier question, how did that make you feel? When you were um, like an outsider, like I was, I didn't belong. I wasn't welcome. Okay, so similar feelings to being the imposter, you being the outsider, so you, you don't not belong. Yeah, and actually, I my reaction was to do everything I could to fix it. So I thought, okay, he he wants me to upskill on this tool faster. Okay, so I went and took some classes at a community college, like in real life, face-to-face -face classes to try and make it go faster. And yeah, <laughs> as I mentioned, I still got laid off, so it didn't help. Wow. Do you feel like you've learned enough that you could actually use those skills you learned in, a, in an, another job with less, um, less experience? <laughs> I, I'm definitely better at them. I wouldn't call myself an expert. I think there's, especially with tools like that, that are um, always evolving. There's always something to learn. I do enjoy it. Like I, right now I consider it a hobby. Um, so maybe eventually I could, uh, like I would like to find a job that would encourage growth in those areas. But for now, because I'm needing a job, I'm actually leaning on um, the the skills where I have more expertise, which are a little bit boring to me, but you know that's well that's where most of my experience is. So. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm sorry that uh, this didn't didn't work out, but um, hopefully it will lead to some some better position or uh, where where you and your manager can agree on the the expectations. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>